Today I'm going to talk about how AI helps doctors analyze uh, infection diseases with uh, low-cost uh, monitors. Have you ever heard about the infection disease, tetanus? Have you ever suffered from the seizures? No. If you cut yourself with the rusty metal, you will have high chance to catch tetanus. The symptoms start around 4 to 21 days after infections. The symptoms include the uh, stiff lips, muscle spasm, high temperature, sweating, and uh, fast heartbeat. There were nearly uh, 56,743 deaths in the world due to the tetanus in 2015. The tetanus can be categorized as mild or severe. Um, there have two pictures. The left side is the traditional way how the doctors analyze the tetanus. And the right side of the picture is our uh, work. And from the uh, left picture, you can see uh, there are 12 simultaneous ECG um, connect to the patient's body and the record the ECG wave shift. This device uh, is quite complex and also it requires the clinic staff to continuously monitor the ECG data. And from our work, the left right side picture, and we have choose the uh, chip variable monitor, it's called uh, e-patch. So we stick the e-patch to the patient's chest and collect the ECG signal. Then we transport the ECG signal into time series images, and we analyze the pattern of the images and classify the patient's tetanus as mild or severe based on these images. Uh, to better understand my work, I would like to uh, show you my work environment. I have been working to this uh, green building since September 2018. This green building is uh, uh, at the oral campus of our university in Hedingen. And every day I have an online meeting with my clinic partner in Vietnam to show my work progress. Most of my uh, work time is fixed to this computer and doing um, uh, coding programming. And here is the, uh, one of the coding examples of my work. There are four different scores for the infection disease tetanus. Scores one and two are mild tetanus. Scores three and four are severe tetanus. There are uh, four different uh, ECGs, uh, ECGs to present the different severity level of the tetanus. The ECG records how often the heart beats and how regularly it beats. And the mild tetanus have showed the um, a slow heartbeat, while the severe tetanus uh, has a fast heartbeat. And this is uh, a time series imaging. Uh, which is transferred from this uh, ECG signal. From this uh, imaging, you can see uh, the spectrogram and the log spectrogram is another way to look like the ECG data. And here you can see for the severe um, tetanus uh, ECG and uh, the image pattern. And here you can see the pattern is more condensed compared to the uh, mild tetanus. And here I would like to show you the um, pipeline of my work, which was published recently. From this pipeline, you, you can see we had uh, used a uh, variable sensor, which is uh, sticks on the patient's chest and collects the uh, ECG signal. And then we transfer the ECG signal to the time series imaging. And here we have used the log spectrogram. After that, we resize and the sketches the log spectrogram into a square uh, imaging, and we have used this square imaging as input for our AI model. And here is um, uh, one of my uh, work, which is, is published in TBME last year, and this model is called the CNN transformer. 
the output of this uh, AI model is the prediction of the Cantonese variety. Using my AI model, uh, there is uh, less work for doctor, and uh, it's also freed up bad space in hospital. It will save the patient's life in low and middle income countries such as Vietnam. That's all. Thank you so much for your attention.